off. Please shut off. There we go. Okay, I'm almost ready. Now I just need to get the watch together up. Okay. Okay, I put the watch together in general chat. Thanks. So I don't know if you, you've used this before, but what you do is the sound is right next to the little cog on the lower right. Right. You can turn that there. And video quality um, is on the cog. Sure. Okay. It's not that great of quality, but it's okay. And uh, is there anything in particular you want to focus on? Um, I think part of it is like positioning. Um, I, I think that gets me quite a bit of the time. Like in this video, I dice like a tracer and like a rain heart because I was really out of position. Um, sometimes I find it like I don't know where to position myself just because sometimes I think my teammates are out of position. So I need to position myself in a weird way just to make sure that I can heal them. Gotcha. Yeah, I see a lot of Annas can get um, aggressive, like when they want to anti-heal, um, which can be good, but mm. you just have to pick the right times, but or or even mm. to get the right view on um, to heal someone. But we'll see what's going on. And also, I'm um, sleep darts. Like I don't really know when I should be using them. Like whether I should go for like safer sleep darts, like save them for the bigger targets like Winston and like Reinhardt or I should like go for like Genji and Farah and stuff well honestly anything that's a threat to you you should always try to sleep dart right, um, okay. so that could be any of those however there are protection sleep darts like for your team and those are fine mm. if nothing's you know right on top of you at that time um, I try to position, like, when I don't have a Reinhardt to stand behind, like, and the enemy does, like, I position myself so that I can't get um, hammered down, and then I, like, sleep dart the Reinhardt, like, straight after, so I'm never, like, direct, I try to never be directly in front of a Reinhardt who I think has hammered down. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good, that's good. Yeah, what what I do is I try to, like, whatever here I'm playing, I try to keep track of their Ryan's ult. Mm. Um, and, and even then, like, as a support, I'm, tr like, playing really far back. So even if he hammers down, he probably can't hit me. Yeah. Or at least I try to. It's not always yeah. that. Because <laughs> the range of that hammer down is so long. Yeah. I, I do better at it when I'm on Zen. Uh, I don't know right. why. <laughs> Okay, so let's get this going. We can probably skip most of the beginning. Oh yeah, so how? Well, I'm not hearing anything yet. Maybe that's me? Can you hear things? Oh, you can't hear any volume. Here it right goes, here it goes. Oh, okay, cool. And if you so, Lucia said let's go left, so I sort of went left. I think your sound's just kind of low. Like oh, okay. Was that your Lucio? No, no that's the Lucio's. enemy one. Okay. Yeah. So like then I missed my sleep dart. This is good. 
You just need to be encouraging your team to go to the point because you don't want to stay on this and uh, in that little corner. So that's good that you got out of there fast. Um, also, you should. I'm gonna pause this. You should always be like behind a tank, or at least as much as possible. Oops, I'm, I hit YouTube pause. Um, so here, I'm. I'm not sure what tanks did you have. Let's see. I'm gonna go. Um, I think Diva and Zarya. Okay. Yeah, they need to be in front of you. So you need to like right. reposition yourself to always be behind them. Because being in front, I is... often find that like when I play with when I play with divas, they often like flank like, and they're always in the enemy backline. So like they're never around to to be behind. Okay. Yeah, um, that's unfortunate. It's just you have to kind of do your best. At least, if anything, mm. make sure your DPSs are in front of you. Because I see you and the Lucio, right, okay. and I'm not sure where anyone else. I'm just gonna assume they're behind you. But right. I could be wrong. So. Right. Let's see here. So there's D.Va. Yeah, see, like, right now, like, you could be behind your... Right, I should be behind. Yeah. I mean, if you... If they're not moving, then you need to tell them to move. Like, move right. up. Let's go the point. Yeah, so that's good. Lucia said go to point. Yeah, see, you need to be further behind... Right. ...your Zarya. Your Zarya is gonna be taking most of the damage for you. And plus, she's a really good target to be healing. Because if she's doing a lot of damage, she's getting a lot of charge, and you're just enabling her by standing behind her. Yeah, I feel like if your team didn't have as good, um, you know, pick fights, like deathmatch, um, you might have gotten killed faster. Yeah. I kind of said group up when I was out in the main area just because I don't like um, def defending like in this point just be especially because they have a Farah. I just feel like really vulnerable because it's easy for her to like focus me down. Yeah, like I find it's harder for her to land. It's easier for me to hit a Farah, for example, if I'm out in the open and I kind of asked the tanks to group up, but they didn't, so I went back on the point and then I died to Tracer. Yeah, that that was actually unfortunate. You just happened mm. to go the wrong way. Um... Mm. But uh, staying away from Farah, even like if she's kind of close to the point, being on the point is the saves for you because there's an enclosed space. Right. If that helps. And then when you already have the point, if your team can get in front of that choke point on the right that you were shooting at, that's really good. But if they're not there, you just have to yeah. be careful. You can't force positioning yourself as a supporter. Yeah. I know it's hard, but you can't. You can only request. Should I have stayed on the point then? Should I have not left? If, if they weren't there, you probably shouldn't have left. Um, right, okay. Yeah. It's just my opinion. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so your team has good presence in the point. I like that prediction grenade. It's really good. Um, yeah, you need to be playing on that point. I think that that's the safest position for you right now. And telling people that a pharaoh is on you will might help you a little bit better. Sure, what these supports are doing, but <laughs> <laughs> they're just having a good time. Welcome to go. <laughs> oh man. Okay, yeah. So you're playing around your team really well right now. I like how you're repositioning yourself so you, the pharaoh that was on the point can shoot you. That's good. I like this. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, she's just having a good time, man. <laughs> oh man, this mercy is great. <laughs> yeah, so your your DPSs are in front of you. That's really good. Now you see something's on the point, so you're trying to focus them. I don't see anything wrong with this gameplay right now, other than you need to be backing up and playing on point because yeah. the tracers on you. I made a mistake taking that fight with the tracer. 
I should have graded it myself then, I think. Oh, this is really good. I'm glad you picked the D.Va. Um, because she could fly yeah, out. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die. So, I uh, nano boosted. I probably should use more nano boosts. Like, that was the only nano boost I, I, I've used. I'm at 99%. Well, here, let, let's talk about that. So, actually, because they never grouped up, you never needed True. to use it. And actually, it's the first time they've grouped up and had a push. So that was fine that you didn't use your nano boosts because they were coming right. in one by one. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. I like that you used it before you died, but um, you might have been able, let me rewind this, you might have been able to use it sooner because initiation ults, in my opinion, are better for fights if you <laughs> than right. exactly reactionary ults. So try to, instead of reactionary ults, do um, aggressive like preempts the fight sort exactly of thing. like okay. start the ult fight because more than often yeah. they'll go in your favor okay so let's see how this goes all right i wanted to actually rewind to when they started to push so yeah, you need to be like backing up to the point and your heal here is should've it should have been, been on, on yourself, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of panicked. Yeah, you would have lived there if you used it on yourself. And you should have gone to the point and lost faster. So those two things, you would have lived. Oh, nice. You accidentally hit the Pharah. <laughs> I really like those uh, grenades you're doing on the point. It's really good. Thanks. <laughs> that mercy. <laughs> that mercy, man. <laughs> She's something else. So yeah, um... Watch your positioning a little bit more. It's fine for you to move outside the point if there is a fight on the point. But if there are mm. things outside of the point and your team's on the point, it might be fa it's usually oh. safer for you to be on the point. <clears throat> right. That makes sense. And always, um, when there's something on you, move towards teammates that can help you. Like, that's just number one rule of support. Never move away from them or try to solo fight them. I know Anna's, right. like, super strong, but it's better. Like, you have a higher chance of living. Hmm. Thanks. So here, I might even, like, throw a... Um, a sleep dart into that little hallway there. You might get lucky and hit someone. Right. <laughs> um, so, like, prediction sleep darts aren't a bad thing if you want to try those. I like that grenade. Yeah, divas are really good to farm your ult on. So, yeah, if you just track down a diva, you'll get your ult really fast. So, because you're really close, um, you might even be need. I guess you don't have to use your ult, but you could have if you guys weren't getting kills because you're tracking down the diva so much. Right. And I guess if we weren't, then she'd be getting more damage, so exactly. I would have it by now. Exactly. I like how you guys are holding in front and you're just staying in the back. This is good. Kinda hard to track down those ferris. <laughs> yes, yeah, good backing up. You don't need to be there. That was fine, only because they weren't committing together. Right. Going in front. I knew it out because. The Zarya was alone. 
I didn't think she'd be able to kill me. Okay, now they have three people. You're out here by yourself. I think it's fine where you are, position-wise. You just have to be really careful. Hmm. I think maybe I could have ulted now or something. No, you you no. don't really need to. Like there, there was only three of them. I mean, you should. It's not like you should be saving your olds for Christmas, but like the whole time they're just yeah. They're pushing one by one. Yeah, here you should have used it when you saw three on point. You should have used it. Right. You probably you you here. The reason why I say that is because you lost three people. Mm. Let me go back. So right here, when you saw three people, you should have given it to, like, the Zarya. Right. Um, or the D.Va. Probably the D.Va more than the Zarya, because I don't know if the Zarya was high charge. Yeah, it's always tricky giving it to Zarya, I find. Because I never know. Well, as a Zarya main, I will usually ask for it if I'm high charge. Right. No one really asks for, um... Nano boost. <laughs> you yeah. just have to sort of like plop it on someone. I mean, you could, actually, here, let me tell you a little secret about Zarya. I'm not sure if you know this, but um, you can actually view how much charge she has just on by her body. You probably have noticed this. Like, the brighter she is, the more higher charge she is. So you could tell. Oh, really? Yeah. So you could tell by. Um, she was probably about half, like 50%, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. Is that fine? Earlier. 50% nano boost. Yeah, 50%, probably not. Still, I would have given it to D.Va. No. Um, but right, okay. If I could find some pictures later, I can show you the different, what she looks like with different mm. charges. So you can tell visually as an Anna. Mm. Um, but I'll, I'll show you that after this. I probably shouldn't have an but like I thought we'd won the fight. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, none probably of not, because this fight, you should have given it to her. Yeah, I thought we'd already won. We won him. Um, actually, so let me pause it here. Um, a lot of people want to save their ults. Um, mm. So hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna take back what I was saying earlier about saving your ults. Anna is probably one of the fastest ulting. Um, <clears throat> one yeah, it's so quick compared yeah, to like Zarya. It, especially yeah. with the three tank meta or three to four mm. tanks now. You're gonna get it really fast if you're, you know, healing the right people. So, mm. a lot of people save their ult for like, you know, getting a two or push. yeah, two or three enemies in it. But even if you're killing one, you probably won the fight, right. and the rest might be hiding or out of position. So, do try to use your ults, but use them, you know, wisely. Wisely, yeah. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be typing. No. <laughs> you shouldn't be <laughs> typing. Uh, okay, so you should not be here at all. I think right. you're just... It's being sloppy. Like, you should always right. play to win, even if the other team has been playing bad. Like... You're chasing kills, you gotta stop this. 
Like, you should be <laughs> focusing on your D.Va and tanks mm. a little bit more. I was just annoyed that the Rotog didn't, um, die. Yeah, it's just, it's <laughs> more helpful for you to be healing your teammates. And yeah, you're really out of position. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just stay in that like back. If they're on the point, stay on the back. If they're on this left side, that position would have been fine. But your team wasn't, so. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, what you're doing here is well. You're loose here. Gonna... going on an adventure. Yeah. He shouldn't have been there, and you don't need to be supporting him doing those things. I thought I'd try. Eh, it's. Hold on, let me pause this. Okay. So, if I know a teammate's probably gonna die for doing something stupid or being out of position, I'm not gonna assist him. Because the rest of your right. team is working on the objective, whatever that may be. So, if, if one of your teammates out of position. Don't support them for doing I thought the wrong I'd quickly thing. try and help him if I landed the sleep, but I missed the sleep, so I thought there's no way this rain's gonna die. Because if I slept him, then um, Luce would have booped him off. That's fine. That's fine. I I'm just saying, I'm glad you left him because there's nothing right. else you could have done there. And <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like one of us would have got charged or something, and then. Yep. And then both of you. Been a one -five -five. One yeah. yeah. So that's good. So your team might die here, so be careful of committing to this fight. Focus like you were doing earlier, a little bit more heals on your D.Va, because your D.Va is actually putting out a lot of damage, believe it or not. Yeah, this is good, this is good. E except for... When Zarya, when Zarya died, I think it was over. Y yeah. I didn't think Zarya would die. No, but she got hooked like straight after. I didn't think she would. This a little. So you actually lost the fight way before you gave that ult. I went back way too far. Okay. Okay. So you see that your team is already really weak. You just lost two people. You have two people, in the, three people in the fight that just died don't use any ults if like half your team's already right. dead. Like I said, use ults to initiate more than defense. Hmm. Always save, like save your ults if, you know, you don't have all six people. Hmm. Now we're getting so good. I'm gonna pause this real fast. Oh wait, I hit the wrong one again. Um, instead of typing so much, I mean, maybe this is just you. Like, just mm. speak into the mic. I bet right. anything, they're actually they can at least hear you. Like, even if they don't respond, mm. it's a lot faster mm. than typing. And you could focus on the game. Like, be in the moment. Be in the game. Um, don't be in the past. Like, if you want right. to comment on something, just speak it. Comment on it as I see it, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this Reinhardt's out of position. <laughs> Wow, that Genji sure wants that Zarya. Yeah, so Zarya is a big counter to Genji. So. <laughs> oh, see see how high charge she is? She has to have at least 90. Oh, uh, right. Oh, because yeah. of those bubbles on her back. Yeah, you can see how bright she is. Right. So that's a cue. That, that was a perfect time. Like, say Zarya was in position to do a lot of damage, you could have given her the, huh. the ult. Right. Okay, yeah, you again, like, keep putting yourself into, like, weird positions. Yeah. 
<laughs> I slept the soldier. Nice. <laughs> That's bad for him. This is good, this is good. Initiation old. No, and you have all six years. Okay, I don't know what year Zen is doing, but whatever. Well, that happens a lot. Like, if we'll win a fight, like, you'll get leashes that you'll win a fight with, and then they'll all, like, when the whole enemy team's, like, dead. Yeah. Used to that. Yeah, your position is really good right now since everyone's just on point. Oh, perfect, you weren't in range. That was really good. I would like to see a game that's actually um, either a loss or closer. That game was not close at all. Okay, I have a game that's really close. Okay, let's watch that one. So, do you have any questions about this one, or anything? No, that was really helpful. Um, and that Zarya thing, I never knew that at all. Okay. Like, thank you for that. Um, so, yeah. to take away just hmm. um, biggest things is stay behind your tanks more, move with your team more, mm. and use your ults um, when you have six, like people right. up that can or initiate can you, if you have five like Not say for example you, can okay more if we're on the point and we lose one person should i out someone that's uh yeah yeah that's fine that's fine just right, try okay. to try to focus on using your ults you know Before actively instead of reactively yeah. right that makes sense okay so those three things should help you a lot if you focus on them hmm. okay what's uh is that the other one? Okay. Yeah, this one's really close. That was a good call asking for a Lucio. But Mercy's not bad, but Lucio's way better. Mm, I prefer playing, like, I don't know, I find it... I often find that I get abandoned by other healers. And when I play Ana, like, they, they say things like, well, you can self-heal, and it's like, well, I prefer to, like, save my grenade. Oh, I like that. I don't know. That was, that was an OP nade you had. <laughs> Hitting those are really important for first fights. Um, I think it's a. I don't think you should have chased your Farah. Right. I think your Farah should have either come to you or try to get into your line of sight. Like you could have told him. Yeah, I'll just pause this while this Reinhardt's trying to chase you down. <laughs> so um, <laughs> instead of just just speak into the mic, um, mm. Farah, you're out of line of sight. That's all you have to say. I often say that to people and they get really pissy with me. Really? It's like, yeah. Okay. It's really weird. Like, a Reinhardt will, like, charge miles out and then complain that I'm not healing. And I'll be like, I can't heal you. And then I'll get, like, abuse. Well, that's why sometimes I don't well... actually speak. Just because people can be so rude. Okay. Well, I tell you what. S play the game how it should be played. And if you have mm. those people who are negative, just, like, mute them. Right. I would, I, like, that's more beneficial. I suppose it's worth giving it a go. Exactly. Give yeah. them a chance, I think, yeah. Give them a chance. Sure. And plus it helps you in the long run because mm. you want to move up to like platinum and diamond. Yeah. So you have to work on being able to speak to people. And as a right. healer, it's really important to say these things. Mm -hmm. um, so just, yeah, if they're negative, then just mute them. Good idea. Let me turn up the quality. Covered. 
Um, I just make sure to focus on the Pharah if he's ever like anything that's initiating a fight. You need to be trying to focus on them. Yeah. Right. Um, it might be better if you stood up on the top right. I might give you a better oh, viewpoint okay. of people. Cause like nothing's on you anyways, and I think some of those people could have been healed if you had more height presence. That was, um, so that fight was fine what you did, um, because you were blocking the point and everyone else was died, or mm. died anyways, but yeah, I don't think there's... Is there yet dying. But Must yeah, it, it would have been prevented if uh, you probably took some height. Right. Okay, so you guys are only three up. You shouldn't be using this. Or even pushing. So you should have not pushed at all and not use that. Wait till you see all six people before you walk forward. Um, and again, if you don't, just say group up. Okay. Or let's wait for our Lucio or something like that. Paprika! I know Paprika. <laughs> uh, one of the guys you killed, or that killed you. Oh, really? Or I know someone else named Paprika in here. Yeah. <laughs> that's our coach. Or my team's coach. Oh, he's probably not. He's probably not. Not. That's Bronzo. No, probably not. Maybe there's several people <laughs> named Paprika. <laughs> <laughs> or he has an alt account. Okay. Yeah, you being here should not. This is not benefiting your team at all. I know it's frustrating, but your team. Might have been able to survive that if you didn't go in. So, right. maybe you're tilting yeah. at this point or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, you could be. I don't know. I don't know your mindset right now. I kind of. I don't know. I thought my team was with me. Uh, well, if you're in front of everyone. Oh, I thought like Diva could. I don't know. Join me or something. Well, okay. So, let me pause this. So my Lucio uh, used to like go in front of all of us while we we're in fights um, during on mm. first pushes, like, and it was only because he's like, I we're too slow, we're not getting in fast enough. But in reality, he's gonna die a lot faster that way. And I know you're a yeah. Luce or a, an Anna, but you need to actually play in the back so you can heal them, or they're not even gonna be able to get in at all. So right. so don't. Don't go forward. Um, yeah, I kind of, I, I don't know. I thought, like, because I got the Zarya so low and because I slept the Mercy, someone would be able to, like, follow up on it, like Tracer or something, but no. Don't worry about the damage you've done. Worry about mm. the damage your team is taking. Like, because right. you can do so much healing. And I know you can do a lot of damage, too, but your mm. healing's a lot more powerful in the long run than the damage right. you do. You should, you should. Well, okay, it's overtime, so it's fine. You probably could have gotten some hits on your um, Zarya. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you guys lost that. And it was all. You guys, the only reason, like, the theme of that first round was you guys literally didn't group up at all. Like, you were pushing with three people. Yeah. So, e someone's got to take charge and make sure people aren't pushing without all six. So, mm -hmm. maybe that could be you? Uh, if they aren't... Right, okay. Yeah, just give it a try, because you aren't going to win these fights by going in by three. I mean, that's not even a shot caller thing, that's just a, a thing you have to work on 
you know, as a player. Mm. Like, should I be moving now? Do I, are there all six people? Okay, now I can go. So just hide behind a corner until think... you see all six. Oh, oh. Right, I think I tilted the um, Zarya by asking her not to overextend. Oh. Oh, is and this... And now she went to <laughs> Well... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen so much work on this map. Or part of the map ever. I've seen so much work before, but just not on this one. Okay, focus more on healing than damage, because you have people that could do damage to the shield. That shot on the Mercy was fine, just... <laughs> You're really good at the damage, you just need to be working more on the healing. And position yourself <laughs> to heal people better. I'm... I, I'm not really a f fan of you taking the side position. Because it's hard... Right. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna pause this here. So you playing on the left side puts you far away from the people who are on the point. So on this point, it's actually more advantageous for you to be holding directly behind them in your choke because of how right. they're positioned. Right, I see what you mean. Yeah, and, and that gives you two benefits. One, you can see them better. And two, if you need help, you can get to them easier. And if you're on the left side, it's harder for you. have to walk you. around the well sort of thing. It's longer for you to get to them, yeah. yeah. I think I, I set up here just because I saw the diva get low and then I scoped in so I didn't bother moving because initially I, I was in that fight with the um, reaper I just didn't move I guess I was just lazy I probably needed to just reposition just say okay the fight with the reapers lost um, reposition back to where I should go and then I've started healing from there so here like from now on I want you to start to always like think to yourself am I in the best position I need to be to heal my team Mm. So, um, and and be protected. So if you have those two in mind, um, rather than trying to make all these damage shots or whatever, because you need to trust mm. your team to do the damage for you. Yeah. Um, so if if you keep those in mind while you're playing and always repositioning yourself to the best position, I think um, you'll you'll have more. Your team will be staying alive more to do things. Right. I really like that knee, that's good. It's a fair on you, I think, or something. Yeah, th this is th the best default position on this map, where you're at right now. Yeah, moving over more to your right might allow you to hit more of your teammates. I powered her up because I knew I was going to get hammered down, so yeah. I thought I'd do it to keep her alive. That's really good. I think, though, I've... if you'd already moved to the right, you wouldn't have got hammered down, though. Because of the... I, just, I kind of knew I was out of position, and it was like, in that instant, I realized like he was preparing to hammer down. Yeah, he was walking uh, yeah. without his whole team <laughs> towards you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Reinhardt's. <laughs> nice old Zen. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a good boop. Yeah, try to be killing that Pharaoh more. That Pharaoh shouldn't have died. Um, yeah. Like I said, hit the things that are doing work on your team. And that Pharaoh was definitely doing work. Yeah, so. she booped them. She shut down two ults with one concussive blast. Because you can get to the things that aren't doing the work later. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that was really good. Your positioning was just a little off at times, and you were focusing on damage um, a little too much in the beginning, but you stopped, so it, it worked out in the end. So I like that you're repositioning yourself. Um, oh yeah, going towards the point's good. Hitting that fair is good since I don't think there's much else in your team that can kill her. I would splash, yeah, this guy. I'm liking out a little watching this. I think. Is is the video lagging for you, or is it just me? No. Okay. Yeah, I, I just did still. Um, oh. Alicia wasn't that. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I kind of assumed I was full health. Um, I do that a lot. Like, I, I don't know. I sometimes forget that I'm not being healed. Oh, like, I feel wait. as like if I haven't, if I haven't taken any damage for like ten seconds, maybe or something, then I'm definitely full health because the other healer will have healed me. But I think he, I don't know where, where he was. Where is your Lucy? I'm gonna rewind it a little. I have no idea. Like, I, I should have been full health. I feel. Yeah. Because I don't think he got picked up. Wait, there's your Lucio in the front. Okay. Okay, your Lucio just died. Oh, okay. I probably should have been more aware of that. I was just too involved. In the fight. Yeah, so... Yeah, try to pay t I mean, I'm guilty of this a lot, too. I'm, I don't always pay attention to the kill feed. Because mm. I expect my teammates to tell me that they're dead. Um while we're in fights, but... Mm -hmm. I, know, still... I thought the trace, like, the Wii team wiped them. I didn't realize the tracer was still alive. <laughs> so she just caught me off guard. <laughs> Ready, bad sleep up. It was worth trying. Probably going into the practice range before you start playing might uh, help you hit those more accurately. Mm. I tend to be able to hit the trickier ones, but it's the simple ones that I don't hit. See, the practice range will be perfect for that. <laughs> so yeah, just spend like maybe 10 minutes before you start. Mm. Just hitting a whole bunch of sleep darts. and I like... Um, I'm gonna pause that real fast. Um, as Anna, it's really, or just any healer, prioritizing heals. So your priority of heals should be um, loose, like supports, and then mm. people actively in, making plays in the fight and making yeah. plays. Yeah. So that was really good that you're keeping track of your Lucio. Yeah. I didn't go to the point because I knew I had my grenade. So if worse came to work, like if I lost a significant amount of health, I could have just grenaded myself. And then if I lost that, I would have gone back to the point. Yeah, it's it's fine for you to be ignoring that diva right there. Because <laughs> she, I don't, I think she was fine. And plus there are people in the fight, so that was good. I like how you're not playing on the point here. This is fine because they are trying to rush the point. Ooh, awesome. Well done. Oh, not well done. <laughs> I like how everyone's like ignoring you. Um, but so far, so good. Your positioning is a lot better here. Yeah, you were following your team really well.
Yeah, see, you're not focusing on damage and your team's winning, uh -huh. so it's really good. And you're playing behind them. I just sometimes get frustrated, like, that Mercy probably should have died, like, she was at one point in the middle of the point. Like, the fact that she managed to get that res off is kind of insane. I actually <laughs> didn't see her, like, right in front of you guys. Let's see. She went, I think she went through. So she's at the side now. Why do I not see her? Oh, I see her now. Okay, there she is. Like she's, she should have died for sure. <laughs> yeah, but see, you didn't chase her, and so you got that sick sleep, so... I'm pretty sure that's what won you guys this uh, this fight. Yeah, I thought it's good to keep the Reinhardt out of the fight. They can't shield any damage, so... And then when he joined, like, joined the fight, it was too late, because... His teammates have been picked up. And I slept the Lucio just because I wanted him to get blown up. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> oh, those are the best sleeps. It's kind of like a Lucio boop on a Reinhardt when it debolts. So yeah. <laughs> Symmetra's back. I do not like Symmetra on this point, but she's really strong like right now, or, or right now. So I mean, anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was trying to get the diva, but she was kind of body blocked by the um. I think you should have been focusing more on healing them. Um, after you did your little sleep and nade. God, Anna's so powerful. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You this is bad. Not I should be not here <laughs> at all. Missing blue darts okay. and shots like at point blank range. So, so this. <laughs> This could lead to a huge stagger. Like, you need to be backing up and waiting for your team. Like, there's literally no point for you to be doing whatever you're oh. doing. Like... Yeah. Okay, why, why are you leaving your team? Okay, just so happen that helped you out, but that was because you were actually out of position. <laughs> Yeah, start following your team more. Even if you're going to get ulted by Ryan, it's better for you to be with your team anyways. Uh-oh. Not Reinhardt. <laughs> okay, don't even be moving right now. You need to be waiting for your team. Right. Uh, why, why are you going for it? It's just you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know. I, I feel like you're upset or something, but... Yeah, I think so. I think it's because we have the, um, the Symmetra again. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna... That's totally my fault. Like, the Lucia wouldn't have been there if I wasn't there. Okay, so, at your rank... Literally anything can happen, so don't be upset about non-conventional picks. And honestly, Symmetra is like mm. super strong right now, so it yeah, could true. be good. Like if someone picks like Bastion or Symmetra or Sombra on my team, I'm not going to get upset because I know that these people might actually be good at those. And as long as they talk and it's working, I'm not going to say anything. 
Um, I will say something if, say, we need another healer or we possibly need another tank. But wow. your Symmetra didn't take away from any of those except for maybe you need another tank. Hmm. And in that case, actually, when there's a Symmetra, you really just need one healer. So you could have asked your... Although this is cost, so you could have asked your Lucio to switch to a DPS hero or another tank. The Lucio is um, silver. Uh, it doesn't matter. Lower than that. I mean, maybe but... that silver player plays a mean Bastion or, or oh, right, soldier. Okay. I mean, you don't know. I mean, unless mm. you look at their profile, what they play. Mm. Um, so usually how most people play with Symmetra is you only have one healer, and that one healer is... Um, and Anna, and on top of that one healer, your team needs to at least have a few self-healing um, heroes, like say Zarya that can re-heal up through her mm. um, armor or whatever it's called, and or Roadhog that can self heal or Maid that can self-heal. Um, mm. So if you meet any of those, you only need one healer because Anna's so right. strong right now. So okay. I'm just. So yeah, two things. Don't be upset on some weird picks. But if it's not working, then you can suggest that maybe they can change it. Right, give it a chance. Yeah, give it a chance. Right. So you guys are actually all grouped up, so... Nice. You're gonna win this fight, because you're actually grouped up. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably an overcommitment, but no, 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 you're you're fine. Uh, oh, what part did you mean overcommitment? Oh, the um, the grenade. That struck. Oh, oh, was that your diva? I don't. I, yeah. I'm focused on you. I don't care about your other teammates. <laughs> yeah, always focus on yourself. Your best. You want your best gameplay while you're playing. Don't worry about your other teammates. Just play your best. Mm-hmm. Well done. Good grenades. Good heals. Everyone grouped up. You're winning the game. You just need to work on that grouping up more often. And leaving fights when you've lost people. You don't need to be over here. Even if you know he might be looking for you. Um, you you didn't have to go all the way over there. Oh no. You don't need to be fighting him. Just, again, voice comms. Tell your team where he's at. Junkrat, behind. Back left. Let's get them off our that one some just jumped out of there. Does... Does, uh... Okay, hold on. He was the only person there, and I... I didn't want him to die. Oh, was he lit? Let's go back. It felt like it. Well, I, like, from my perspective, like, I didn't know where D.Va was. Okay, I hate being a Roadhog and not having my ult, and Anna gave me... Right. Well, although I can I just... still get some key picks, but... I mean, I could already have gotten those key picks without the enemy. Oh, our diva got picked up there, so our diva's dead. Okay, yeah. And remember, initiation ults, if you'd have just yeah. been looking for the diva as they were coming in. But like, now is sort of critical, just because, I don't know, eh, they'd already well. take I, it. I see that, I see what you're saying there. But oh, the diva was back. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. Cause, but... And also, like, I was, I was in a weird position as well. Yeah. And I did die. So it's probably good that I did use it before I died, I think. I don't know. I agree. But if you had just, um, like, worked on those initiation ults, you wouldn't be in that mm. position. Yeah, I probably... Yes. Oh, 
There really is no point for you to be contesting this, by the way, because most of your team died, so you didn't need to go in there. And it's at 99% anyway, so... But they're you at 94, let... so... Yeah, oh, true. But you as a healer, I don't know. You had other teammates that might have been able to do it without you committing yourself. Hmm. If it was like, it was about to be capture, but you have teammates still wandering around the point. See, so like how you're not committing yourself. This is fine. Ooh, too bad you don't have your grenade. I'm <laughs> the rest. There's no use for you to be giving that to him. You need to watch, like, how you're using your grenades because they're so important. Try to use them for mm. grouping or um, their enemies' team groups or, or heroes that are enemy heroes that are out of position. So mm. if you don't need it yourself. This is fine because it's over time, might as well. Yeah, I feel like if you didn't contest there or commit yourself to contest there, you'd have been possibly fine. done that. Yeah. Because uh -huh. your team, your teammates had died a while back and they were coming back. I was just worried about giving it to them. I don't know why. Yeah, it wasn't. In my like... mind, it's like. It wasn't down to the last tick that they yeah. did it, so you still had some time to contest by yourself as a healer. Like, use yourself as a last effort as Anna, like, for contesting. Like, you, there's no other hmm. option. Right. <laughs> we need to give that Mercy in group chat. <laughs> Lol. You didn't hit your uh, your mad grenade here. You should be <laughs> always throwing it right there, by the right. way. Right. That was actually I was surprised seeing you do that because um, a lot of like Grandmaster um, Anna's do that. Masters, they always hit um, an know, offensive. Uh, the initial fight grenade is really good. I probably should be hitting Reaper, yeah. <laughs> was annoying. Oh. Uh, yeah, I would have saved that because again, mm. you're I don't know well, how I fight. ended up with seventy percent still. Ooh, one yeah, hit. that feels nice. bad. Yeah, that that was unfortunate. I think if I threw my grenade sooner, she would have survived. I think you should have used your grenade on those uh, those people there. Or maybe you missed them. Oh, let me go back. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, so you're, you're already down two. Your Lucio's dead. Your grenade needs to be hitting your teammates who need it the most. And on your right, you see them. You, yeah, you should have grenaded first before shooting. Mm. Yeah, when you're. Oh, let's pause. When you're entering. Uh, when you're entering a fight as Anna and it's already a prolonged fight. Try to save your grenades mm. to hit, you know, teammates that need it the most um, before shooting right. anything because it's a lot 
faster heal up. And for you, since they take faster healing, um, I think that's a perk. I believe it is. So that when you are one-shotting them with your rifle, it, it does a lot more effective healing. Mm. Really good, really good ult there. Not so good that you didn't get the mercy. Or your team didn't get the mercy. You're out of position. Like, yeah, you shouldn't have been yeah. there and you wouldn't have died. You should have been, like, behind. Or on that mm. little perch to the right, if you could. I don't, I don't know if you could have or not. Focus on healing, not killing them. Because some of your team... Yeah, play on that perch more right here. Um, when you have the point. Or when your teammates are in front of the point. Right. Yeah, I really think you need playing on that perch a bit more. Because when you aren't... Because um, you just see more, more view of the point. Right. So you know I'm talking about those rocks. Yeah, to the right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My ultimate is charging. My ultimate is charging. This will help. You're covered. I was telling them in chat, I need help with the May. You're telling them in chat? How do you tell them in chat? Like I was voice? speaking to them. Because, oh. like, yeah, but, like, it doesn't record my voice. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pause this real fast. Yeah, so all this time I have, like, no clue that you're being no, talking. Been speaking. Oh, that, that's okay. the first time I spoke, I think. Oh, okay. Because okay. So this whole time, like, man, you need to speak more. And uh, one time he did. Too bad you didn't have a grenade for this. Yeah. Yeah, putting a clutch grenade on your teammates when they're um, in a grab, so good. Like, it pretty much saves their butts a lot of times. Yeah, I'm okay, you, you played that, like, perfectly, by the way. Oops, I went back way too far. Oh, shit. I lost where we were. Um. Mm, I'll find it. It was towards the end, right? Yeah. Oh, right, here it is. No, it's a bit before then. That was before, okay. I think. Yeah, yeah, you just uh, nanoed the Reaper, so that was it. Unless you. I mean, I'm sure you're nanoing the Reaper a lot, though. Um, all I want to say on the the Reaper is when you nano boost someone, keeping your heals on them is really valuable. So I, I like that mm. you did that. So always try to do that when you nano someone. Uh, that's a little bit after this. My ultimate is charging. Yeah, it's fine if no one needs healing that you're hitting the Reinhardt shield, so... But I have... No clue. Oh, you got saved. Almost. Yeah. But she used her whole ult just to kill me. <laughs> uh, gold May syndrome. <laughs> 
Yeah, um, you need to be playing on that perch a lot more. I've, and I know I've said that like a billion times, but mm. I really hope To be honest, you. the May forces me onto that perch. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. You're healing the Reaper like the whole time. So good. Um, if that's your Winston, is that what your Winston? You need to be healing him yeah. a lot more. Right. Uh, Winston is really powerful for Anna, just like D.Va. Keeping them alive um, keeps your team in the fight. I think I should have got out. Yeah. Um, well, it's over. Oh, but I didn't because the diva was in there. Yeah, as long as they're not on you, this is okay. Okay, yeah, you should have left a long time ago. Um, after the diva died, you should have left. Or backed up, I mean. Ooh, that Anna wants you. One more yeah. hit and you're dead. So like, there's like no point for you to be here. You need to be backing up. See, that guy made the right call. You need to listen to him. <laughs> I'm so surprised that I didn't die through the duration of that. Yeah, you just got lucky. <laughs> Man, you're just assisting that Reaper a lot. I really like that you're giving him the the boost. So that Reaper knows you carried him. <laughs> uh, that was really good. Um yeah, uh, I don't like you going to that little left area. You can't see your team as much. Right. Be playing on that rock more. Um, no mm. to back up a, a lot more. Stop taking fights when it's literally you by yourself. Mm. And call group ups if you have to. Because then that way you verbally are telling yourselves, I should not be shooting at people. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm hiding around a corner waiting for my team, so... Yeah. You guys would have won, or not have wasted so much time. Yeah, we would have won, um... What, when, what, what round was that? In the fourth round, I think the round just before. How many rounds I think was I made, that? I missed that. It was like, three to two, right? So, fourth was the one mm. before. Yeah. Okay. So, takeaways, uh, or follow your team more, don't pick mm. fights when you're by yourself, learn when to leave fights, that's when you don't see people in front of you, that's when you leave fights, mm -hmm. and um, prioritize um, saving your grenades when you're re-entering a fight for the people that need it the most, um, and right. then you can heal them up by shooting them. I think that's the three biggest things. Thank you so much. Cool. Do you have any questions for me? No, like you've just like explained everything. Like I, I don't know. I really think I'm probably gonna improve now. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm well, gonna like apply it to my games, and I don't know. We'll see how things go. Yeah, try to just look to use your height height to your advantage where you can see your team the best and always think about mm. your positioning is is this the best positioning for me to heal my team um, and as right. long as you keep that one thing in mind I'm sure you'll gain a lot of rank and um, talking with your teammates those two things mm. Thank but, you. yeah um, feel free to send me more um, VODs later on um, if you have mm. any Thank you. I'll keep you up to date with my progress. Like if I ever hit like platinum or something. Cool. I mean, even if you haven't yet, still keep me updated. Will do. Thank you so much for your help. All right. Take care.
Take care. Bye. I got over that GG, so someone ever looks there. Hey. Hello. Yep. Greetings.